We have a right circular cone with a shaded base and we will try to derive a formula for the surface area of a cone. Let us name the points O, A, B. Points A and B are marked on the circumference such that AB forms a diameter. Let L be the slant height and H be the perpendicular height. And let R be the radius of the circular base. First, let us consider the circular base. The radius of the circular base is R, so its area will be pi R squared. Next, we need to find the area of the curved surface. And we have seen that when the curved surface is opened up, it looks like a sector. We also need to find the area of the sector. Let the sector be OAB. Look at the sector and the cone. What do you think is the measure of these two lengths? OA and OB will equal the slant height which is L. Here's another interesting question. What will be the length of arc AB? This is an arc as we know that a sector is part of a circle. This arc is actually the circumference of the circular base. So the length of this arc will be 2 pi r. A sector is also defined by the angle it subtends at the center. Let us call it theta. Now we are ready to find the area of the sector. And it gets even more interesting. There is another way in which we can find the length of the arc AB. Let's zoom out to look at the other way. It will equal theta by 360 multiplied by the circumference of the circle with radius OA and OB. What will be the circumference of the circle that is formed with this as the sector? It will be 2 pi L since L is the radius of the circle of which this sector is a part. This tells us that the length of arc AB is a part of the circumference of the big circle that can be formed here. But the length of arc AB is also 2 pi r. That will equal theta by 360 multiplied by 2 pi l. Cancelling 2 pi out from both sides, we get r equal to theta by 360 multiplied by l. The area of this sector will be the curved surface area of this cone. The area of this sector will equal theta by 360 multiplied by the area of the circle with OA and OB as the radius. And that will be pi L squared as L is the radius of this circle. Can we write this a bit differently? Yes, this can also be written as pi L multiplied by theta by 360 multiplied by L. We have just split pi L squared into pi L multiplied by L. But this part in brackets, as we just found out, is equal to r. So the curved surface area will be pi l multiplied by r. Let us review what we just did. We found out the length of arc AB in two different ways and equated them. And then we found out the curved surface area using the formula of a sector of a circle. And then finally substituted the value of r in this formula to eliminate theta. Now it's very simple. The total surface area of the cone will be the curved surface area plus the area of the circular base. The curved surface area as we know is pi l r and the area of the base is pi r squared. Both the terms have pi r as their common factor. Taking pi r common we write the formula as pi r multiplied by L plus R. This is the formula for the total surface area of a right circular cone.